Thanks for staying with us. So we remember those days when parents were only concerned about courses their children would study. It was either law, medicine, engineering, pharmacy, or nothing. These days, parents are even more particular about whether their children study in a private university or go to a public university in Nigeria or to travel abroad. One of the which is the utmost ready is funding this education abroad and ensuring that the same is not affected in any way. If you have great plans for your children's education, then sit back as we learn about the education trust, how the education trust can help. Joining us now is a private trust specialist, FBN Quest Mutiat Olatunji. She's been here several times. Welcome to the show. Thank you for Always having me. It's a pleasure having morning. you because we learn new things anytime you come. Mm -hmm. So this education trust fund, what is it about? Okay, so I'll start from what is a trust, right? Mm -hmm. So a trust is a relationship between two parties, right? So let's say, for example, you want to set up a trust. You are the settler. I am the trustee. Then you have a third party that is the beneficiary. So simply speaking, that's what a trust is. So if I'm to narrow it down to educational trust, it is a the settler setting up a trust for the purpose of the education of, of their the children or any other person at all who can be the beneficiary. Mm. So the, the focus is education, mm. right? So what does education cover? It covers your school fees, <laughs> accommodation, travel expenses. These days, kids take part in swimming, karate, taekwondo, and all of that. So all of that can be taken care of under your trust. Ah, kidding me. <laughs> so even now that, so, so that right now, I have right. to pay for karate and this like, so if I had a trust, I'll just give you Just send the invoice and we'll take care of it. Imagine school that. is about to resume. Just send us the invoice. Oh, life is we'll good. Pay the, we'll pay the school fees and just send you proof of payment. That's all. Whoa, so, so you don't have to worry yourself about anything once your trust is funded. So the next question is, how does that work? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so how does it work? You, you set up a trust and you fund the trust. Mm -hmm. So what we do for our clients is that we ensure that when you come to us, we'll sit down and have a conversation with you. What is your long-term goal? What do you intend to achieve? When you tell us that, we now help you with a projection. So for example, if you want your child to go to one of the Ivory League schools, we'll give you a projection taking into um, consideration, inflation, and all, all those other things. Mm. And they'll ask you, what duration do you want to use to fund this trust? You also have to know that anything can happen at any time. You can lose your job, incapacitation. So we'll work with a time frame that ensures that even if anything happens, right, covered. You, you are covered. Your children, they are covered at every mm. point in time. We've also seen instances where, for example, the mother or the father loses his or her job. And for that reason, kids that were very comfortable, they were going to the best of schools, they have to withdraw them because they didn't have a proper plan, plan to fund their education. Mm. So also a follow-up of how it works. So do I say, um, for instance, I want to set up a trust and I want the trust to take effect immediately because I have children in school. Uh, do I now start paying a percentage of my salary to the trust every month? Or how does, just give us the Okay, so it goes, back the details, to the, yeah. it goes back to the projection. If you want it to take effect now, mm. then we can say, okay, school typically resumes, you pay school fees September, January, and maybe March or thereabouts. Yeah. That means you have to have funded your trust adequately. Oh. So depending on what your projection is for an annual payment, we can ensure that before each term, your trust is adequately funded. So okay. we'll work with you. Me. Yes, we'll uh, work no, with no, you. No, but, God. but the good thing is that, the good thing is that those funds are invested. Okay. So the money is not just so it sitting can grow. there. It will ah, always grow. So the money just that. doesn't sit there. Oh. You know, in, interestingly, my husband was going through, I mean, usually he's, he's used to a certain figure every month. I mean, I mean once it's time for school. So this time around, he, he was just like, he went to go and check school fees and like we had come up about percentage higher. He said, yeah, Mudaro. Because what he had planned for and budgeted for is completely different from what the school was asking. Because the little kid, the, the last one just entered school, mm -hmm. and what he's paying is much more. And then the yeah, six girls, you know. So in that kind of situation, whereby changed um, the, the, the school fees changed and all that, how do you affect and how, how do you, does it increase what I start paying as a, as a, as a trustee? Or, or as a settler. As a, as a settler, Okay, yeah. so how it works is this. It depends on how well you funded your trust before. So if the trust has been adequately funded from the onset, then your return on investments would be slightly okay to cushion yeah, all this those. Kind of, so mm, all those increases in school fees, you won't feel it immediately, right? Because uh -huh. your return on investments would take off that burden from your shoulder. So you don't have to worry about it in the long run. Okay, so uh, there are many people watching and thinking, oh, this is clearly not for me, it must be for rich people. But what category of people do you think are eligible to look into education trust. I think it applies to everybody, okay. right? Because when you look at it, when your kid starts nursery and primary, you might still be able to afford it. Mm. But when you look at the way education is going in Nigeria, you might be thinking, I'm going the private school route. Even if it's 20,000 or 10,000 you want to save 
on a monthly basis. If your child is two or three now, before that child gets to university, you have enough funds. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, so when that time that. comes, you are not even bothering yourself about, oh, how am I going to afford this? Or am I going to pay? Because the funds, they are there. It is okay, there let me just say a quick follow-up. I am so cutting out this cliff for my husband. Like, so, uh, just so a quick, ah. quick follow-up to that. So just the example you use, you're paying maybe 20K a month, and then maybe over time, your resources have improved. Can you then yes. change? Is so, it a new fund arrangement or just an no, so update? You can just up, you just up, to, you up what you pay. So okay. let's say, for example, now you eat a jackpot and you get one million. Yeah. You can decide to put one million today, mm -hmm. and next month wow. it's 5,000 you have. That's so it's 5,000 you have. See, it. I love this. You know why I like Because I really like stress free life. I really, yeah. I love, I don't have to think about. The beans, karate. I don't want to think about it. I want to be in the tea. At least sort it out. <laughs> but, <laughs> like that. But, yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. But when you when, when the kids go to university, they have things, spring break, want to come to Nigeria. And I'm like, I don't have money right now. Can I call you? So is it, is it must be, be totally for education and nothing else? Now, can I say, Mr. Please, so my kids want to go for summer, summer. vacation. Oh, please, can you help me just sort it out for them? Okay, so that's why I mentioned other related expenses. So because uh, so, you are the creator of the trust, you mm, tell us what you want. Main. Do you okay. want it to be just strictly school fees? Mm. Do you want to cover travel expenses? Do you want to cover welfare? Do you even want to cover, cover HMO for them? Mm. Right, so all of I those things can work into your education no, trust. You feel so, ah. Well, it, it sounds so too, as they say, too good to be true. What no. is the catch? The catch, catch for wow. them. Yeah. <laughs> so for, for all trust, we don't touch your principal, right? Mm -hmm. The only money we make is on your return on investment. Okay. That is why we have to ensure that we invest in secure instruments. So we only take a percentage of the investment income. Mm -hmm. So your principal is secured. So that puts pressure on us to ensure that okay. this money, we must invest it right and it must grow. So in case of the demise of the person who is putting this money in trust, how do you do the contact of the family? Because sometimes we don't hear anything and family members may be suffering or knowing that there's money somewhere kept for them. Okay, so when you set up a trust, there's someone known as a trust protector. Okay. So the settler would inform this trust protector of the existence of that trust. So the trust protector now steps in to ensure that Trustees, I've left money with you, but I've passed on. You don't want to spend my money. The trust protector must ensure that the trustee... So the trust protector is like a watchdog. Okay. You from ensure, you or from the From person? the settler. Oh. From the person creating the trust. Oh, okay. So you can pick anybody, family an organization, member. family member, anybody you trust. Okay. So they now act as a watchdog and they now make requests on behalf of the beneficiaries. So they send us the invoices and we honor. The good thing is that the trust protector cannot alter the content of the trust. Mm. So yeah. you are not scared that, like ah, that what if, if this person comes to include our own children or something? Mm. She has, he or she has absolutely, absolutely. no right to alter, alter anything. Alter. So if the education is done and everything, there's change remaining, who takes So there's change? something called determination of the trust. So okay. you will have determined how you want it to be shared. Okay. So you can say, oh, my, my projection is that they all do masters. So once they complete their masters, split the money equally between or amongst all of them. So they nice. take their share like of the this. money. This is and so you know what I like about this, Mutia, this is the fact. This is not my friend, though. I'm going to collect your number. <laughs> yeah. So Mutia, I'm talking to you already. Let's see my account officer. So what I, what I love about this is that when, when you have money, you don't have to worry about what to spend. You know, sometimes you just have money. Mm. Just like you buy hair. Can you put it in the trust? Put it in the trust. We have to move it. Just take it to Mutia. Mm. Exactly. Mm. Fantastic. Take it to the <laughs> trust, not to Mutia. <laughs> <laughs> the good, good thing again is that people don't know that you can also put properties in your trust. Oh. So if you have a property, so I came across something on Instagram where a lady said, "Oh, before she even put to bed, she had a financial plan. She bought a property." And the projection was that rental income from the property she used to take care of her children's school fees. Wow. However, the rental income was just five million. Mm -hmm. She now had twins, and she had <laughs> one of the top schools in mind for them to attend. Exactly. And then she says, "Can this five million Afford take care of this?" Back of my head, I'm like, "Fantastic financial plan." Mm -hmm. But imagine if you put that property in a trust, and that five million has been we've been investing it, mm -hmm. and you're getting return on investments. Mm -hmm. Like it's so, so when you sorted. Put the for instance, the building now, yeah. with people living inside, you can put it in trust or yes. an empty building. So you no, can so put it in rent. So most times it's best when it's for education that is an is income generating. Oh. Okay. So that way, apart from you even maybe funding once in a while when you have spare money, you know that on an annual basis, oh. your tenants are I paying pay their rent and it's going into that. So if I'm mm. getting um, income from a side hustle, can I put that in trust? You can. Hustle? You can put any, oh, anything shame. at all. Any money. Love it. Love it. Love it. We love you already. We just, we just organized our life. I'm telling you. <laughs> because I'm telling you, it makes more sense. Mm. Thank you so much, Mutiat. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm not calling you a big person. I'm telling you, Mutiat. No problem. We hold you.